So yeah, man. So things change last minute there at a much higher at a much higher rate. And I'm sure there's there's pros and cons to both companies that people that are more on the inside are, are far more aware of than I am. But if I were him, I wouldn't leave. Would you? You 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 finish building your perfect castle, your perfect castle with all the defenses you need. You have you have the people are happy. They're they're well fed. Everyone's starting to make money. And then you're just gonna go. Oh, it's this castle over here. <laughs> No, man. Why would you start over? But Cody Rhodes did that. Yeah, but I think different Cody's situation. an older guy with kids and had different priorities than, than what a young 20, how old is he? 24, 25, 26, 27, somewhere in there, mid-20s. I mean, your, your, your priorities and 26. the way you look at the world is completely different in, in, their, in that age gap between the two men. I remember saying like years ago, so when, when someone was getting released from WWE, it would always be like, are they going to sign to AEW? They're going to sign to AEW. Right. And I said, one day, somebody is going to do the opposite. One day, somebody's going to go from AEW to WWE. Sure. And nobody's talking about that. I think. Little did I know it was going to be Cody Rhodes. Yeah. And I, people are talking about like Kenny Omega now and things like that. But again, that would just seem so weird to me considering how much freedom he has at one company and how little he would have at the other. There's trade-offs, I guess, right? Like, Sure, it's, but it's, at that level, they're all making money. They're all making good sure. money. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. it's, not, it's not like the old days. If you're a mid-to-top guy, you're making good money. Yeah. Uh, I, I feel like Cody's path has been very interesting. Check this out. Okay. So <laughs> a buddy of mine who knows way more about wrestling than me uh, he's a Broadway actor and he loved, I don't want to say his name because if he got it right, I don't want WWE to like prevent him from getting tickets, right? <laughs> but he's, he's so cool and he loves wrestling and he hits me up after Cody lost at Mania and he goes, what if it wasn't Vince that made him lose? I said, okay. And he said, uh, he goes, what if when he talked to Triple H and he says, and you know Triple H is a student of the game. Like, he knows every storyline that's ever been told. He loved all those old guys. Yeah. He said, what if the plan was for him to lose all along and they recreate the Dusty Rhodes hard time storyline? Mm. So for the whole year, Cody's just getting effed time and time, and it takes him a year to earn his way back until, until the very next WrestleMania. And Roman's the champ and all Roman's the way? And Roman's the champ all the way. And, you, and so I was like, well, what happens at Backlash? He goes, Brock squashes him. Brock kills him. And I go, dude, you don't think it kills a character? He goes, if they're doing the hard time story, it doesn't. Because that's what Magnum TA did to Dusty on mm. his road to the top. And I'm sitting there, I'm, and he pitched it so nice. And I, if I could do my impression of him, it, I could do the whole story, but yeah. that would give away who it is. <laughs> Um, but it was just, his pitch was so good. I was like, I'll be damned if they're not, I'm, and I'm completely convinced now that that's what's going to happen. So watch Backlash if this comes out before then. If not, I think it are, comes out after then. Oh, well, then yeah. you'll know whether we were yeah. right or wrong at that point. But even if, he even if he wins, they could still do it. I think they just have to connect it more to the Bloodline story again. 